Hi YouTube, um, I thought I'd do a quick video just showing you um, when I managed to breed my um, Svodra mantis. Um, these were actually sold to me as Svodra mantis viridis as nymphs, um, and they were green as nymphs. And then as adults they looked like this and they were both brown. I'm not sure, but I've kept viridis in the past, and um, the female that I had was much kind of bigger and fatter looking, so I think these may be Svodra mantis lineata. Um, anyway. This one is the female, and I've given her a big cricket to eat, uh, and she's munching on that. And here you can see the male, uh, and you can see his um, antennae wiggling there. I think the female like produces a pheromone uh, when she's kind of in season, if you like, uh, and the um, the male can pick up on that. So he's looking pretty interested up here. Um, this is this can be quite a long process if you're ever trying to do this. Definitely um, give your female a big cricket to eat, at least one, and just be ready to give her more if she runs out. Um, that will stop her from eating him. Um, and what I recommend, like if she doesn't take a cricket on the night when you want to do it, you can just, this is a bit morbid, but just take a cricket, uh, take its head off, and squeeze some of the <laughs> um, guts of the cricket out, and then uh, just touch that touch the sort of cricket guts on the mantis's mouth and she'll just start eating it straight away so you can, <coughs> you can hand feed these mantises they're so greedy um, so th this is the first sort of uh, clip bear in mind like I watched these guys for a, a few hours um, when they were doing this um, right so this is the next clip the male has got up the courage and he's moved towards her she obviously knows he's there look she's turned around he's standing on her um, He's not particularly uh, clever, this male. <laughs> he, he does quite a few things where I think, are you trying to get eaten or what? Luckily, though, she's big and fat, and she's well fed, and she's just eaten a cricket as well. So, but look, do you see, like, she sort of nudges him, and then he, look at that position that he's in. He's like, oh, and his antennae are really wiggling. And watch this, it's really funny. Run away! <laughs> it's like, get out! <laughs> he obviously sensed that. Um, something wasn't quite right anyway then I waited for a long time again and he came back so I guess just from the scent of uh, you know he knew how to come back he spent quite a lot of time creeping up on her again she's finished her cricket by this point again like you can see like his antennae wiggling and um, sometimes you can see the females abdomen sort of pumping as well and you that might just be like when she was eating and stuff, but sometimes you think, I wonder if she's pumping out the um, pheromone as well that he can sense, you know. So yeah, she's uh, she's aware that he's there. You can see her antennae going as well, but he's just um, he's just being very cautious and creeping up on her a bit more carefully. I think. Uh, all in all like he he got on her and was chased away and probably like about 15 20 times <laughs> like i was by the end i was like oh come on get on with it okay here's the next one where he's creeping up on her and this is quite interesting actually because he does some moves now i'm not sure if this is like a sort of a courtship dance like a sort of a mating um ritual kind of um dance or it could just be like if you look in a minute he turns his whole body to her and I wondered if it might just be a way of, of showing his size, like making him look bigger so she doesn't want to eat him as much. But do you see that? He's like bent right around. It could be either. I mean, I know like a lot of um, insects do these kinds of um, mating dances and things. There you go. So he flies on top of her back. She doesn't seem too fussed at this point. Then he climbs on and I think, cool, they're gonna this is gonna be the time. And she starts walking off. <laughs> so if he was sensible now he would just get on top of her properly and try and get a good position. But um, he basically I think he just lets her walk off again very frustrating. So 
So you do have to have quite a lot of patience with this mantis breeding thing. Although, having said that, you know, you can get lucky and the male can just hop straight on and they're mating <laughs> straight away. But just be ready that it may not go as smoothly as that. Okay, here's the next clip. This is, uh, oh yeah, that. He, so he's crept onto her again. But this time he's the wrong way around. He definitely is trying to get eaten. You do not want to be this way around. <laughs> Maybe he's just uh, checking her out, making sure she's definitely a female. Very bizarre. Okay, and then at this point I I bought an orchid in from our bathroom and just put them on that and she climbed up onto the orchid and as soon as he um, got on top of her she just looked much more kind of at ease you know so maybe she just wanted to hang on something that was a bit more natural looking so he climbs on her and again I'm thinking this would be the perfect time for you to join together doing all the right things I think and then, no, he turns around again. What's going on? At this point, I was just about ready to give up and go to bed. I think it was getting pretty late at night by this point. <laughs> um, this is a great species, though. Like one of the bigger, like all the, the sort of uh, main Spodromantis species are the best sort of species I'd say for beginners. They're so greedy, they feed readily. Uh, here's the next clip, he's still the wrong way round. And then he ends up turning around and being the right way finally. Um, yeah, I totally recommend these for beginners because they'll readily take crickets and they'll take crickets from your hand, you know, you can hand feed them, they're so greedy. Uh, they grow really quickly. Um, they're really hardy, hardy species, not delicate at all. And they'll eat pretty much anything that's, you know, just slightly smaller than them. Even the males are quite feisty, you know. You can see, by the way, here the male uh, is a lot thinner looking than the female. Okay, so he's right around, can you see his abdomen sort of twitching here? Okay, and then typically, I think at this point, my battery and my camera decided to um, to die somewhere around here. So just before I managed to um, get a video where he actually joins himself to the female, my um, camera died. But then I managed to get some more batteries and put them in. So at the end of this video in a sec, um, you'll see there's a few um, still photos that I took. Um, so the first still you're going to see is them joined together. Uh, still on this orchid and they stayed like that for probably uh, I'd say at least 24 hours joined together before they separated there you go that's them um, joined together uh, then I'm going to show you when she laid her first um, it's called an oof case egg case that's full of little baby nymphs when they hatch out you get um, several hundred nymphs come out or, well at least a couple of hundred so this is how I kept my nymphs to start with just in individual little tubs and I had to put little crickets in with all of them to feed them all and it would probably take me five or six hours to go through and feed them all it was a right faff or no I was using um, flightless um, fruit flies to start with Drosophila melanogaster and uh, the bigger Drosophila hydei um, okay, so here's one of the nymphs in the tub, so you can see they are absolutely tiny. Um, the last photo I'm going to show you is just a grown-on nymph on a couple of egg cases. She laid um, seven egg cases all together, um, and I think I hatched out over 500 um, babies that I was trying to rear up. Uh, I couldn't rear them all, and I ended up having to put them all in together and let them kind of eat each other for a bit. Um, <laughs> It's a, it is a quicker way of doing it. It seems a shame, but it, it is a quicker way of doing it. Okay, if you like this kind of thing, um, check out my other videos and hit subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Um, yeah, I was just going to say as well that uh, I do keep lots of other kind of keep reptiles and amphibians and small mammals uh, and lots of different inverts. So um, if you hit subscribe, then any videos of anything interesting that I film in the future, um, I'll put it on YouTube and just by being a subscriber, you'll get to see it um, straight away as soon as I post it up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.